Hey my fellow Follicle Frontiers, man, it's DJ from Carriage and Brotherhood. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be answering all of the comments and questions from my 16 month finance ride update video. Maybe we'll do this more in the future. If you like this idea of me answering your questions like this, drop a comment down below, leave a like, let me know that you like this. You finally answered the question that I've been wondering, which is will anything assist in the regrowth of the front hairline other than transplant? Yeah, um, I've been at this for 17 months now almost uh, trying to regrow hair with finasteride and even before finasteride with minoxidil guys for like four years before starting finasteride and the hairline is without a doubt the one place in my head i just can't really grow much now that isn't to say i don't get anything um, unfortunately now i i have been going through a shed if you actually compare you can see i'm actually much thinner in here i've been shedding like crazy I'll tell you more about that in the 17 month update video, but uh, for regrowing hair on the hairline, the majority of my hair, my hairline guys, I told you is from the hair transplant. Um, so I can't say clearly how much hair was from minoxidil and finasteride because I just can't see it um, because the, the transplanted hairs are just full thick terminal hairs. But if you got like the Vegeta thing going on here, or maybe you got just like fit, uh, thinning on one side, I wouldn't keep my hopes up too high as far as regrowing uh, just because in my experience I haven't seen anything like that and just even in comments left by other guys they just can't regrow hair in the hairline um, so whatever you get in the hairline guys be happy about that but understand before you go into it that getting anything in the hairline is gonna be highly unlikely that's why I mentioned it in the 16 month update video um, hey Justin L Justin L says, hey, was the massive shedding due to minoxidil or finasteride? That's the million dollar question, man. Like, the thing is, I was shedding on minoxidil, like I said, before finasteride, I was shedding on minoxidil. Um, and I just attributed that to seasonal sheds plus that one big shed. I actually made a video about this a couple years ago about minoxidil shedding being temporary and it's kind of like a cycle. Uh, but then the finasteride, you know, I started on finasteride and I was doing well from Jump Street. Like literally the first couple of weeks, I just stopped shedding altogether. And then when I hit that fourth month, dude, it like shed. And fourth and fifth month shedding. And then again from nine, 10, 11 month shedding. And I thought I was kind of in the home clear, you know, home free. And here I am again. Um, I've been shedding since the middle of the 16 month. So about two weeks ago, I started shedding. And it's a big one. Like <laughs> you can't really see um, how much density I've lost uh, just because my hair is long and it's kind of like curling or, or a little, it's like wavy. But I wish I knew the answer, man, because it, I tell you what, if anybody on the internet says they know the answer to minoxidil or finasteride, I'm talking about anybody on YouTube where they comment, they're lying. Okay. And the reason is nobody knows why we shed. And this is one of the really messed up things about it is we've been fighting hair loss and doctors and researchers have been studying hair loss for decades, man, decades. And we are still where we are right now, which is not much finasteride minoxidil. And it's like, can somebody please like get us some help, man? Like for real, we need answers. I need answers. I need to know why every three or four months I have to expect a big shed. Um, my answer to your question, Justin, uh, in short is, I don't know, man. I wish I knew why we shed. I wish I knew if it was the minoxidil or the finasteride, but nobody that I know knows the answer. And nobody leaving comments in the YouTube section knows the answer because if they did, they wouldn't be on YouTube. They'd be on a beach somewhere in like Bora Bora because they'd be the richest man alive. I guarantee you that. Nikki T. I've been on finasteride for 15 years. It doesn't do anything for my temple areas, but I haven't lost any more hair in the mid portion and scalp. Also no side effects. Thank you for pointing out the no side effects thing. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I've never had side effects, but for some reason people think I'm lying when I say that as if every guy is supposed to have side effects. I, just, I don't know what that's about, but 15 years, that's hopeful for me because um, I, I, I am on the latter half of 30s now, so I'm 36 this next month actually. And like, I, I've been thinking about that, like how long do I realistically see myself using minoxidil and finasteride? And, um, you know, I've been looking at 
how long do I plan on using these two medications? Because I don't want to be 60 years old to take a finasteride minoxidil. But at that point, I think I'd just be like, just let it go. But I'm still young in my eyes. Um, so seeing you at 15 years with um, stabilized hair loss, I like to hear that. That's good to hear, um, especially for guys who are coming up behind us. Um, I mean, I'm only just past a year, but there's guys who are like two weeks in and they just are filled with questions. You know, they're full of questions. So seeing stuff like this, anecdotal stories, it's really helpful. Thanks for leaving a comment, dude. Daniel Czar. I'm about to take a leap of minoxidil today. I've been derma rolling alone for two and a half months or two, I'm sorry, two to three months. And it's made a nice difference, but I feel like Minox is going to put me over the top. And I've been off an ash for ten months now. Also, killer results, man. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Um, Daniel, like, minoxidil is nothing, dude. Like, if you're already on finasteride, minoxidil is literally nothing. Um, people really, really overhype uh, minoxidil, particularly minoxidil side effects. Um, they they overhype the shedding. Here's the thing, guys. A lot of people who um, complain about the minoxidil causing a shedding. They're really overhyping it, and what they do is they end up shedding. They freak out. They stop using the minoxidil. Daniel, I tell guys all the time the same thing, but I'm gonna tell you also. I'm not a doctor. I'm not here to give medical advice, but I do understand how the hair cycle works, and it takes about three months for a hair to regrow, like start growing again, like where you see it pushing through the scalp. It can take up to three months for that to happen after the hair is shed, um, because the hair goes into a dormant period. You know, it's going into what's called telogen. Um, where it's just kind of uh, sleeping and you have to wait that out. Even while you're waiting though, don't stop taking the minoxidil because the minoxidil is shown to shorten the sleeping period for the hair, the dormant period, it shortens that period of time and then the hair can enter the antigen stage much sooner. Um, so if you're gonna shed, if you're gonna take the minoxidil, understand that you will shed, um, it will make some hairs fall out, maybe a lot of hairs depending on how many of them are close to the end of the life cycle anyway. Don't stop the minoxidil. Wear a hat. Understand that you will shed and will look worse before you look better. But yeah, dude, if you're on finasteride, um, at the same time, like the two of them have worked amazingly well for me. Um, I've been on both just like one, like minoxidil or finasteride, and the results are just not, they're not comparable. So good luck, bro. Anvi Life. Anvi Life. Oh, guys, I can see how long you've been subscribed to me. So, um, you know, shout out to Anvi for being around for a year or more, man. I appreciate that. That's, that's I like that, man. Um, it shows that, you know, I'm giving value and you guys appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys as well. Your results is amazing. Stop. Also, please start taking wheatgrass juice daily. It will boost more growth. Um, grow your wheatgrass at home. Use it. It's very good for hair, skin, and also overall health. Wheatgrass. I've heard this before. Um, not, not in the context of regrowing hair, but... I have heard that we, it's, a, it's a green juice, right? I haven't researched it, but I'm assuming it's a green juice. Um, green juices in general um, have like so much potential. They're just chock full of nutrients. And I love kale juice. Um, kale juice, uh, kale and blueberries is like one of my favorite things to drink. So um, yeah, man, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it, Envy. I appreciate that, dude. Scott, I commented a long time ago, uh, I commented a long time ago about Finasteride. I've been on it probably about 10 years and changed my life. I'm glad you're doing well with the drug. Thanks, man. And it's good to hear that, uh, you know, you haven't had any problems either. 10 years is like, like 15 is a long time, you know, and it goes by fast, you know, it goes by a lot faster than I thought it would. Um, so yeah, thanks for checking in, dude. I'm glad uh, it's working out for you. What is this? I can't read your name, man, but you've been, you're a new subscriber. So welcome to the Carrot and Brotherhood. Uh, the 3D20. Okay. I want to use the derma roller. I want to use the Roland derm and the test ride. Should I use one at a time? Um, I don't have an answer for you. Whenever it comes to should you take finasteride, I am never going to tell you you should. Um, I don't even think I've done that once on my channel and where I like tell you, you must take finasteride. I nudge you, but I'm never going to um, play the doctor on you and tell you that you have to. Um, should you use one at a time? It doesn't matter, dude. They, they work on different, um, the, the mechanisms of action are different. So the derma roller is going to stimulate um, hair growth and the dutasteride is gonna block the enzyme that causes the hair to miniaturize and fall out. So 
they're they don't like fight each other per se they'll just be helping each other if anything uh 909 kid your hair looks amazing the grinding paid off <laughs> it was and is still a grind bro yeah i know thanks for the comment man k david thanks for video why did you stop derm rolling do you think that was the cause of the shedding so your second question that's a yes and a no uh it's a yes because according to the hair loss show docs uh, you can cause a temporary shed um, by derm rolling, especially if you're going with a longer gauge needle like a 1.5, uh, which I don't use, but even a one millimeter, um, depending on the thickness or the thinness of your scalp, it is possible to damage the, the bulb of the hair follicle itself, and that shock trauma can cause the hairs to fall out. Um, you can see a similar thing happen with hair transplants. I had a hair transplant, and uh, when you have hairs already in the the recipient area and you put the donor hairs in around them just the action the trauma to the skin of puncturing or punching the skin to put the new hair in um, you will shed those hairs around the transplanted hairs they call that shock loss and so i guess in a sense derma rolling or maybe even over rolling like over treating an area could cause shock loss so what the doctors were saying makes sense um to why you said well, why I quit derm rolling, um, that's not the only reason. It's just you know I've been derm rolling for a while, man, like over a year and um, actually over two years really. And it's just one of those things where I want to see if it's actually what's helping my hair grow. Um, so I've been off of derm rolling for two months now, I think maybe over two months. I'm not quite sure the exact time, but um, will I start again? I don't think so, man. I don't think so. I, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm beyond derma rolling, the finasteride and minoxidil, and the uh, bio equa inner charger. Um, those do well enough for me. And I mean, I just, derma rolling, I find is, it's kind of like a gateway drug, if you want to, for lack of a better word, um, just because, you know, minoxidil is a, a drug um, with side effects. Finasteride has got a bad rap. Um, and derma rolling just seems like the safest option, especially for guys who want to go natural. Um, so it makes sense that a lot of guys would start with derma rolling, but it's just not the stage that I'm at anymore. I'm at, I'm at kind of a, I don't want to say advanced stage, but I've been at this long enough to know that derma rolling is not what's regrowing my hair the most. So I don't need it. Aaron, eight months, man, almost coming up on the year. Appreciate the support, dude. Appreciate the support. Way better than a hairpiece. <laughs> uh until you at least swim in the summer yeah uh i knew probably next to nothing about hair pieces until i started meeting uh or interviewing jake kent uh he and i interviewed a couple of times and even watching his content he is the hair uh hair piece or the hair unit guru and as far as i'm concerned i mean he's living the life with the hair piece and he said he loves it uh, it looked really natural on him too uh so i i was quite surprised by that. I mean, because my mind was on that old toupee uh, thing, but I guess we're beyond that now. We're at like advanced hair units. Um, at least before I hit the shed, dude. Like, I think I could go to go for a swim, and with the state that I was at at 16 months, simply because I mean, it, I didn't have the wear fibers, so it was it was fine. Now, when I go to work, I do wear hair fibers again simply because my crown has thinned out quite a bit. Um, and even out here on the top, you can see the light shining straight into it here. And just like on the hairline, um, actually, I'll zoom in a little bit. You can see like right here on the hairline, it's thinned out right in here a bit. So, I mean, um, I do have to wear hair fibers. And so swimming is not an option. You're right. But eh, who's swimming right now with coronavirus, right? Cameron. Cameron has been subscribed for six months. Nice. Hey man, I have a similar hair to you, tattoos and tattoos actually. Um, getting a transplant. They're having to perform the operation. Uh, they decline others due to bad donor error, but they mentioned that I have relatively weak donor error. I was wondering if there's any way I could just get your thoughts on my hair loss and what I should do. How can I contact you? Well, you got a lot, a lot of things happening here. Um, firstly, thanks for, uh, Noticing my tattoos. I love my tattoos. Um, most of them were done in South Korea. Um, so that was pretty cool that you mentioned that. Getting a transplant is probably the biggest step um, when it comes to fighting hair loss. It's it's a bigger step than finasteride, really, because finasteride is just a drug. You stop taking the drug and almost everybody 
you know, recovers if they have side effects, but you can't go back on a hair transplant. That shit is permanent. So um, the scar is permanent anyway. Mm, I don't know what the consult was. I mean, I guess I could take a look at a photo. Again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a surgeon. So my, my I don't know how useful my feedback would be. Um, but yeah, how can I contact you? Um, I have an email. Uh, it's just, it's not really the, the, if you want to get a fast, a quick response from me, Instagram is probably the best way. And since we're on the topic of Instagram, my Instagram is DJ Smeejay. It's in the comment or the description below. Uh, but I'm going to be dedicating more time to the Character Brotherhood um, Instagram page. Uh, that way I can, I can really post the hair loss content on there. And it's, uh, anyways. Yeah, so for now, just hit me up on Instagram, on my personal account, DJ Smeejay. And I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can, which usually takes about a week. <laughs> okay, so don't take it personal. Uh, to keep this posted, yeah. King of the North, um, hair fiber. I guess you're saying that you think I was wearing hair fibers in the video. Um, eh, I wasn't. Um, I'm not wearing hair fibers now either, actually. I mean, this is this is just all me, man. Uh, but uh, yeah, no hair fibers, dude. Sorry. Why did you stop? I already answered that. But go back in the video. Myron. <laughs> Nice. Um, patience is key. Happy for you. Thanks for watching, Mr. Gellort. Chris A. Props to staying with it, man, and being open and honest about this all. Uh, thanks for watching, Chris. Uh, guys, you guys are lucky. If you're, if you're just starting Finash Dried, uh, maybe even Monoxyl, you guys are so lucky. Um, because when I started, and this is not a knock on, on, on Hairliciously at all, but that's literally the only person who was on YouTube when I first started looking to hair loss content, like for help, uh, was Aaron from Hairliciously. And shout out to Aaron for, you know, for, for being there. Uh, he was like the pioneer of the YouTube hair loss channel, him and um, uh, Matt Dominance. Um, but I just felt like their content didn't resonate with me the way I wanted it to. And I really wanted to make a photo journal, a video journal for myself to look back on to keep me focused. So those two things you know, made me make this channel. And uh, some people like Hairliciously more. Some people like me more. Some people like Bald Cafe more. Or Kevin Mann. He's another guy who's, who's really coming up here on YouTube uh, for hair loss. But whoever you like, man, you know, keep it positive. You know, stay away from the negativity. And, um, you know, keep up with your own hair loss routine and, and update me. Leave a comment. Tell me how you're doing. Um, so thanks for that, Chris. That must be stressful taking that all day or every day. It definitely takes commitment. <laughs> I love this. How? You just pop one pill. You don't even have to take it every day. It's like brushing your teeth. So, wait, yeah, it's just like brushing your teeth. So how much commitment could it take? <laughs> um... I hear that a lot. Like, man, you got to take that for the rest of your life. Well, man, you got to do that every day. And it's like, it, it, it's literally taking a pill every day. So what's the problem there? Like you, but you don't take a multivitamin. You don't, you don't brush your teeth. You don't poop. You don't eat guys. It's, it's really not that critical. Like don't overthink it, but I appreciate you watching the video. Um, Lou, it definitely has been something that takes commitment for sure. And don't take it personally. I'm not attacking you for leaving that comment. But uh, yeah, I, I just think we need to really reframe the way we think about this fighting hair loss thing. Um, Abdiaziz Isa, I hope I got that right. Who did your hair transplant? Oh, sorry. Do you also do, did you do a hair transplant? Because there's a big line on the back of your head. You're quite observant. Thank you for noticing the scar. Uh, <laughs> yes, I had a hair transplant. I have videos about it. You can search my channel, you can find them. Take a look. I've never hid my um, hair transplants. It's something that I actually feel pretty proud of because there's a lot of guys who have questions and me having experience gives me a little bit of insight to answer those questions, so. Assassin Z Apekia. Why did you stop drug rolling? Again, I answered that question. Jazz Bremba. Awesome, you can regrow the hairline at 15% minoxidil. Um, I use I use a combination of stuff and it can help you get more if you want. 
uh, has been wanting to help people in the past 10 years on the forums. I'm not sure which forum you're on, Jazz, because the name doesn't ring a bell. Um, but no, nah, I think I'm good on the 15%. I have a couple of people that I've spoken to that are on higher concentrations of the binoxidil. Um, like I said, my results, I think, are acceptable. And I don't think I, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's how I feel. So yeah, I'm going to just stay at 5%. T.O. I've seen your name a lot, dude. Um, I just can't, I can't recall how, why or when you subscribed, but thank you for being active. This is literally the only hair loss video on YouTube that didn't totally waste my time. I'm getting better, man. I'm trying to get better. Uh, I am guilty of wasting time, uh, people's time on YouTube, but you know, cause you make the videos for yourself and you're like, I hope that people love my video. But at the end of the day, what it really people come to your video for is the information, um, especially for this type of content, like Finasteroid updates, because they may be at the same month you are, and they just want to know, are they doing well or are they not doing well? So if you've noticed, compared to my old Finasteroid videos, I've really tried to um, condense or to be a bit more succinct in the way that I create the video, at least for the Finasteroid. Um, that way I'm not wasting your time and I don't have to waste my time either making the videos. So thank you for noticing that. Check out more plates, more dates. I've been on his channel a few times. Um, yeah, I, yeah, he's been around probably as long as Hairliciously. I, I'm not quite sure. But uh, yeah, he definitely has he definitely has a, an uh, audience that is particular to his content. Um, and that's the beauty of, of this YouTube thing is that each niche has different players and different kind of we call brand archetypes in marketing but uh, yeah nobody's really the same there's really no copycats and everybody is themselves and people resonate with different types of creators um, which is why you'll rarely see overlap um, across multiple channels in the same niche so if you like for example Kevin Mann you probably don't like my content and if you like uh, hairliciously you probably don't like uh you know what is his name uh i can't remember off the top of my head hair guard um it's just it's it's different you know and so that's the beauty of it john doe this is it guys if you don't have a channel this is an interesting icon here uh received the highest number of hearts from you or one of the highest number john's been around for a while um yeah so looks great and this feels good man i mean I, I love seeing you guys over and over and over again because it does feel like a community um it's good to see you again john a pair a, oh, <laughs> a person uh did the transplant fail it did not fail at the beginning of the video look at the look at the condition that my hair was in the trans it looks like the transplant was a failure but if you go back to my hair transplant videos, you'll see that I never got anything transplanted into the crown of my head. What happened was after the hair transplant, the surgeon recommended that I get on um, finasteride. I did not want to get on finasteride. And so what ended up happening was over the next few years, the hairs that were already there before the transplant continued to miniaturize and then fall out, which ended up with my hair trans my transplanted hair is being there but the other hairs basically they, i went bald in those areas this is why they really really highly recommend that you start taking finasteride right after the hair transplant to prevent something like that from happening so no my transplant didn't fail i failed myself by not following the guidance of the uh the hair restoration surgeon and jumping on finasteride right. i'm not telling you to jump on finasteride right, but that's what happened to me dennis strada why don't you get macro pigmented? Dude, I swear I have, this is probably the most asked question on my channel. Like hands down, like every video has this comment. Ah, oh, I'm just tired of answering. Um, I don't, I didn't get micro pigmentation um, for a number of reasons uh, in the past. It's on the table again. Um, it's not gonna happen tomorrow, obviously, but you know, it's something that I've been considering, especially as my hair starts to grow out more and more. It's like that's becoming more of a realistic um, uh, thing for me to not wear hair fibers. And if that's the case where I don't have to wear hair fibers, I may as well go and try micropigmentation as well. 
um, but I'm not there yet and it's expensive and I have a family and I'm trying to save for the future and I'm trying to start a business. So it's not high on my list of things to do, but I appreciate the question, dude. Dizzy, one, two, three. Incredible, bro. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, Dizzy. Event Horizon. I'm so glad to see a guy that is not losing hope and giving hope to others. I've been on finasteride and monoxide over five months. And after three months, I was having little results. Now my hair is a shedding. I don't know if I should stop or continue. I guess it's too early. Any recommendations would be appreciated. And this is exactly what it is. A recommendation, guys, um, from a guy just like you. I would not stop finasteride. Um before a year is up. And according to my dermatologist in South Korea, you shouldn't stop for an asteroid for like at least 18 months, if not two years, just because it takes that long for some people to kind of, I don't want to say stabilize, but you know, to, to kind of see what you're going to get, you know, like, uh, it's not a short thing where you take it for three months and suddenly you're finished. That's it. Like you, you have a full Afro. Um, if you don't believe me and you really want to understand how rough and how often shedding can happen, just go back to my finastri playlists, guys. Uh, at week, or I'm sorry, at month three, I was looking, I was feeling good, man. I had a lot of regrowth on my crown, only to get knocked back down um, in that fourth and fifth month. So um, it's it's an up and down thing, you know, it's an up and down thing. And you don't want to get caught up in those downs because if you get caught up in the downs, then you're just going to quit. And if you quit, then you'll always wonder like what happened or what would happen if I had just continued, um, you know, taking an asteroid for the full two years. And then you have to consider, do you want to start taking it again? And it's just like, why even go through all that trouble? Just stick with it. It's like a multivitamin. And before you take, took an asteroid, you were probably losing your hair anyways. So, I mean, what are you really losing? If there's no side effects, why quit? It doesn't make sense to me. So, um, like I said, I'm not attacking you, Event Horizon. This is more just general talk for everybody. Guys, give yourself time, all right? If you're at two years and you're still just not, nothing's happening up there and you're using Minoxidil as well, uh, maybe it's time to, to, to you know, accept the fact that it's just not going to work for you. And for some guys, that's just the case. Uh, but, I mean, if you compare by zero month to right now, you cannot tell me that I'm not doing better than I was. And I've gone through some bad sheds. So event, I hope that was helpful, man. Um, put some thought into it and uh, make a decision that you think is best for you. Alan C says, I just started Finasteride two weeks ago. Your results really gives me hope. I'm curious though, why did your hair grow through more shedding phase? Even after steady medication, is that normal? What do you think caused that? Thanks. I guess it goes back to the beginning of the video, man. Like. If I knew why I was shedding, or if anybody knew why I was shedding, they'd be rich, or I'd be rich. Um, I don't know, man. You know, it's some guys shed um, on a minoxidil and finasteride, like me. Other YouTubers have not shed; they just stabilize, and they hold what they got and they keep it for for years. Some guys get zero; they get, they get nothing, dude. They actually go negative and still lose hairs even after starting the medication. So, um, there's too many variables at play here. You know, you got age, you got race, and that is the thing, you know, your race, your ethnicity uh, does play a role uh, in your hair loss. You know, you have um, environmental factors, stress, nutrition, sun exposure, you know, harmful um, uh, chemicals and toxins. And, and, and there's all of these factors at play, you know, the hair products you use, there's too many variables for us to really know what causes people to shed. Um, and until somebody comes up with some kind of controlled study um, with a bunch of um, identical twins, <laughs> then we're never really going to have an answer. Uh, so who anybody tells you that they know why you are shedding, just hear them out, but don't follow that advice. I'm just telling you that they don't know either. Okay. Um, but yeah, dude, I, I'm at my, let's see, one, two, three. This is my fourth shedding phase now in 16, 17 months. So at this point, I'm just like, eh, here we go. I just got to wait another two or three months for my hair to grow back and I'll be back to where I was. And last question, Ali Kazmi. 
Your hair looks extremely good. Thank you once again for sharing your journey with us. I'm in month 13 and my hair looks worse than it did just two months ago. This is a good This is a good comment uh, to end the video on because I want to leave you with some food for thought. Um, I don't know what it is, but like my hair does, obviously it sheds, but even without the shedding, even like in that 16 months, we saw I had so much regrowth. There were days where my hair just didn't look thick. And it was weird because there's no hair falling out. It just didn't look thick. And then on other days, it'd be like, bam, like you can't even see the scalp to, to a certain extent. And why is that? You know, why does our hair look different each day? Um, so I don't have the answer for that either, but you know, I'm assuming you're probably shedding if that was two months ago. And if you're at 13 months, you know, just give it more time, man. I'm sure once the shedding's over, your hair cycle will restart and the hairs will come back. Um, and you'll be well on your way again, especially if you're in month 13. Um, it seems like you've been at this for a while, so don't give up, Ali. Um, stick with it. Again, guys, if you're not having side effects, there's really no reason to quit um, taking the drugs unless you just have the, don't have the money for it. So anyways, I enjoyed this. I, I really appreciate your comments, guys. If you have... Uh, something on your mind you want to leave in the comments that's great um, and I'll try to do a video like this and just answer them all that way I save myself time and I save you time as well okay anyways my name is DJ from Caring to Brotherhood I'll see you in the next video